Now then, YouTube, welcome back to Arsenal Korean. Today we have got Chelsea at home. Last episode, it was a 6-2 defeat to Brentford with legendary, instantly unrealistic and scripted cataclysmic amounts, so it's been moved straight down to world class. Uh, let's hope this is a fair and even reflection of that. Um, yes, I'm going to be finishing off the month of August today. It's Friday. This should then give me enough content... Uh, for you until after the weekend and I'll come back online after the weekend uh, to record some more for you the team in net see bamiang has been shit now I'm not playing lax X we'll put Nketi here on the bench okay Odegaard's been alright Martinelli will give him his chance Saka's great Partey Terraria okay why Gabriel Cedric see Cedric's disappointed me so let's give Chambers ago. Let's put uh, Tavares. He looks a decent player. Let's put him on the bench. Shh. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. That is the team to go and face Chelsea at the Emirates. Our first home game. Hopefully it goes a damn sight better than our first away game. The difficulty should... Oh, hello. Mad. The difficulty should make it more realistic and less scripted. If I lose, it's still realistic, but it won't be like 7 0 like it would have been if I'd have uh, if I'd have kept it on legendary. Because legendary, although a loss against Brentford would have probably been realistic, to be fair, with Arsenal. A 6 2 loss absolutely is not. So it's all about being realistic this career mode. And legendary is just full of scripting and unrealistic. So we're gonna move it down to a realistic difficulty of world class. Let's do this. Chambers with a great ball over to Tierney. Yeah, just, as soon as I saw that Rasperly Quetta. I thought, fuck it. Tierney's ball in. Abamyang does well. Thomas Partey. Saka. Shot blocked. Press him. You'll learn this about me. I am. Um, you can tell I'm a Liverpool fan because I play like Liverpool. Very quick on the counter and high press. And to be fair, this Arsenal side doesn't have a team that uh, fucks up that system that much. They've got Saka, they've got Pepe. Aubameyang is supposedly 88 pace. They've got a team that could do damage on the counter. Aubameyang. Oh, Christensen does well. Aubameyang. Uh. Rudiger can't quite get the ball off Rudiger. Timo Werner's playing ahead of Lukaku. Obviously, I'm not going to complain about Callum Chambers. Uh, shocking. Very good. Well, defensively, they were all over the place, both as individuals and as a unit. They were shambolic at times. Obviously, they'll be looking for a better performance today. No doubt they've been working hard. Look at this, though. Uh, world class, and they're still playing very well indeed. And they're 1 0 up. Still realistic, and I'm still losing here. But it's a bit easier to play against. A bit more realistic as well, a bit less scripted. I was just a good goal. Oh, fuck off and go low. Because one thing, really, the reason I hate Legendary so much is why, Callum? That's wank. I even beat so easy for pace. Oh, my word. Timo Werner. Well done. Oh, my fucking Lord. Well done. Bamiang. Torreira. Udegaard. Looking for an option. Wrong player! What the fuck? Fucking move it down to amateur at this rate, for fuck's sake. Well done, Callum Chambers. Referee! Where's my fucking free kick? What a show! 
Show me where he won the ball in that tackle. You can't. He didn't. Timo Werner struck it. It's a good job he did because there were better options there. Uh, world class is still a challenge and still scripted. So I think it is absolutely. I was worried that it would be too easy. If I'd have won here 2 3 0, I'd been like, right, that's. Uh, I refuse to play legendary, but also world class is too easy, so it's a tough one. Fucking Golo Kante is, still feels like he's legendary, mind you. Fuck's sake. Fortunately, though, this game, just filled with confidence that this game's still a tough game to play. I was worried that it'd be a little bit too easy. Fuck's sake. Can't miss. Most players can't. Fortunately, that's Timo Werner, and he can. Not by much, though. Tell you what, we're lucky to only be 1 0. Bloody hell, they're good, Chelsea. Oh, get that through ball to Martinelli. He is onside. Stop trying to call me offside, you wanker. Avamyang in the middle, make the run. Oh, Duarte God, if I'm struggling like this at home against Chelsea, next episode's going to be an absolute thriller against. Um, Manchester City at the Etihad. We're at the end of 45 minutes. Second half. See, they've had three shots, we've had two. Shots on target wise, let's have a look. Shot accuracy, bang, love that. Two shots here on target, they've had three shots, two on target. We've not been good enough, and there's no doubt that they deserve to be ahead. I can't argue it at all. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Well, I just can't get Conte. the ball. Can't defend, can't attack. Now this Arsenal team is really quite shit. I think Conte. our first win will be against um, Norwich, just like in real life. Realistic though, isn't it? Thomas. Saka. Fucking hell. Saka really poor. You're one of the players I'm relying on. Is that Lukaku? That's all Werner's. Yep, I see a big, bold, um, black number nine up front. What could only mean one thing? It is the biggest of brick shit houses of all time. Romelu Lukaku, what a player. He is a unit. He's a fucking phenomenal player. He didn't used to be at United. He used to be pretty basic. To be fair. Go on. No. They play really well. Good football. They can't get the ball off them, in fact. Fucking hell. Can't, I can't even get a shot off. Tierney, oh, it's so weak. Well done, Gabriel. What a tackle from Gabriel there. And I think, yeah, I am going to have to make some substitutes as well. Uh, edegaard has been shockingly poor. We'll bring on Smith Rowe. Martinelli, I've not even noticed you've been there. Bring on Pepe. And Bamiang, again, you've been non existent. I don't care that you're the captain and you're one of the highest rated. You've been shit. I'm going to bring on Eddie and Ketia. Really the got, oh, he's fucked up there. Lukaku, well done there. I believe that's Ben White. Yeah, it is. Really good block on that Romelu Lukaku strike. And we are going to hope this triple substitution can offer some fresh legs and a bit of an attacking impetus to us. Because, quite frankly, there isn't one at the moment, so they've got 25, 30 minutes to make a difference. Bringing off Aubameyang, Erdegaard and Martinelli. Bringing on Nicolas Pepe, Emil Smith-Rowe and Eddie and Ketia. Come on, make the distance. Please, please just get a shot on target, to be fair. We haven't got one yet, and that's a good save from Bernd Leno. And out to Kieran Tierney. Here's Saka. Good. Oh... Oh, don't remind me. Don't remind me that that's what's up next. Luca Torreira does well. Wins it. And here's Thomas Partey. 
Nicolas Pepe. Samuel Smith Rowe. Pepe shot blocked. Marcus Alonso. Too easy. Far too easy. Marcos Alonso. And Mount. Pulisic. Saw that coming a country mile. Conte. Good save. And that's well done, Tierney. Well, the defending was well done. But really well, awful pass. Today, so was that, though. Saka. Smith Rowe back to Saka. Younger, fresher, fitter legs. I noticed that off the ball, but of course nothing given. That is not foul. Hit it. Get there. No. Took us till the 82nd minute, but I believe that's his first shot on target of the game. Lukaku. Now can they counter clinically? The play. Look how they're playing. It's like playing prime Barca. Really well defended from Gabriel there. Keeping it. Why are the players incapable of making a five-yard pass? I could do that. Never mind a fucking professional footballer. Saka. No. Awful. Oh. Fuck off. And Golo Conte. Leno. We've just got to get rid and hope that Nketiah could somehow do something with that. He can't. And it finishes Arsenal nil. Chelsea won two games at the start of this season, both ending in defeat. You can't say it's not realistic. I'll tell you what. Despite the bullshit in that game, four shots to seven. That feels like such a realistic game. It wasn't like the Brentford game that was full of bullshit and scripting. That feels about right. Feels about bang on. I'm happy with that. Coming up next will be Manchester City. Next episode in the final episode I'm going to record of the day. Uh, Mon Louis says, I'm sorry, but um, my contract's nearly up. Uh, to be fair, lad, to you. I told you that you were, I was selling you, and you said I'm happy that you're selling me, boss. So, sorry, sorry for not talking enough. Just think, yeah, fuck off, get out of my club. You're not even worth my time. Saying Mon Louis, you're a wanker. Right, uh, we're rock bottom of the table, and it's not going to get any better because up next we have got Manchester City at the Etihad. Unfortunately, that is going to be the last game I'm recording of the day. I'm going to leave it over the weekend, where we will come back. And we will be playing against Norwich at home. And then we've got uh, Burnley away, Wolves at home in the Cup. Then we've got the North London derby. That's how the month of September's looking. Really quiet because Arsenal are sh that shit. Only Tierney and Erdogan going away as well. Arsenal are that shit. They aren't even in European football. Hey Gaffer, I know you've got a lot on your mind, but there's some discontent in the um, changing room. Look, that's because you're a shit football club. I'm trying my best. It's not easy. Man City in 10th. They're not doing great. Liverpool only with one put as well. So uh, you never know. We'll see how it goes. I shall see you next episode for some more Arsenal career mode. Take care. Bye bye.